Hey guys, welcome to <laughs> Comfy Cozy Up and it is Brooklyn Book Festival Day and as you can see, it's still pouring. So the weatherman claimed it was going to be done by 10 o'clock. It's 11.30 and yeah. So I'm going to get some breakfast and hope and pray it clears up by 1 for the 2 o'clock panel that I actually want to attend. Until then, let's hope when I get down there, it's like not completely empty. I can just imagine the vendors don't want to be out here in the rain, but we'll see what this year is going to look like. <sighs> disappointed already. Very, very disappointed. But we are here. I find out where they relocate. So I went on their website and they relocate the center stage and the other stage. Anyway, here comes the bus. I gotta get on. It is rainy, but the vendors are out here. So I'm gonna walk around and actually, I need to get a calendar um, with everything. I'm just gonna grab one of these. You guys are creative. <laughs> with the umbrella. I see. No, with the covering of the book. Oh, yeah. yeah just, I know. It sucks so bad. I know. What kind of book is that? It sounds interesting. Okay. Okay. Definitely something. I see. You, are you the author or are you just a bit? Oh, so how about this? Can I get a signed copy? Uh, it's Debbie Cab, Lisa Khan. Debbie, no, Debbie's actually in my acknowledgement, so is Rhonda. And Rhonda. <laughs> Debbie's a Rhonda, me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, carry on. I know one of the drawbacks when it's raining in a book press. Yes, PETA. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like that, guys. We got Marlon James over here. That was a little creepy, guys, so I'm gonna keep moving. But that was my own thing. How long can she survive? No luck on first expedition to find Lost Girl. Ten days of fast food for dinner, if there was dinner, after her parents' long hours at Forrester's Caverns overseeing the rescue team. You know, like, and if you don't, okay, I can learn out about Latin, but I don't think you came here for that, so I just wanted to offer that on the table. I think my, can you hear me okay? My earliest experiences with poetry were with form, and so I, I entered into it not being afraid. You know, I studied under... Marilyn Nelson and Patricia Smith and others, um, and they always assigned, you know, Shakespeare and, and other folks who who wrote in form, and so that introduction just prepared me for a life in form. Um, so I don't think it's, and I don't think that form is scary, you know, because even free verse itself is a is a kind of form, and with free verse we set, you know. Uh, personal parameters for each poem. Alright guys, I'm out here. Um, the first panel was like a poetry. Um, and one of them was Caribbean author. So I was like, oh, yeah. So I got two of the books. I'm going to let them sign it. And then right after it's said, we said, okay, so today's not a complete bus because they found a way to be arranged. I'm in the library. So I'm excited to see her panel. I did get her book. It is nonfiction, guys. I'm excited. 
I'm really excited because <laughs> I would love to see what she writes about, especially since it's not fiction. All right, guys, I will share some more footage of today's events. <laughs> much about the debut um, experience and um, and this is an extraordinary panel because in addition to being debut authors you all have done so many other um, lines of work so I think that adds an extra layer to the discussion so we'll, we'll it'll be as much about the experience of being a debut author but also gives we want to give you an opportunity to get a sense um, of the books of uh, these debut um, books so we will start this way, if you can, um, in introducing your books and, and your reading, share a little bit about what the debut experience was like for you and how you went from these other, this other kind of work that you were doing into writing fiction. So we'll, we'll start with, um, we'll start with um, at the end here and go <laughs> this way because <laughs> we started with Yeah, I came prepared. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, amazing. When you were there, it would have been the first time in my life. I mean, Rob is your friend. Yes, I'm ready. 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 I'm
let me let me tell you i don't care what else happened for the rest of the day i'm full i'm full because ed was dead ed took a picture of me and also signed all my words yeah 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 i can't tell I'm happy yeah now on, a, on another note i feel like a bad lady the good thing is it's not i don't feel any rain um i do still have my umbrella in a bag the newspaper that has all the itinerary it's packed um it doesn't end it doesn't end until six but i really didn't have anybody else on the list that i wanted to see this year this is a lot of debut sad to say a lot of people I don't, I'm not aware of um, I did pick up uh, Dream and Gold I think that's the name of the book I put that somewhere and what I like so far is she's a debut author I'm glad I did pick it up but there's a high possibility it is gonna come in the box with all the debut authors that I get at the end of this year that gets sent to me by the pub. Well, I can't really tell you who sent it to me. <laughs> but it's, I've been getting them for for the last, this will be year four. Um, so I've been getting debut authors sent to me at this time of the year. I already agreed to it. So there's a high possibility that book was gonna be in there anyway, but I got the sign and took picture with it. So I can always give that book away if it does show up. I'm waiting to see what shows up because I haven't been following any new authors this year. Besides the ones that I found a booker. None. So, yeah. So let me get back over here. Mentors in your writing process and, and, and keep learning as we're going. And I, I, I'd like to know, because this is... Um this is historical fiction, so it means that there is at least some amount of research that goes into the creation of the stories. How did uh, how does research fit into your writing process? We can start with you, Vanessa. You know, when I first started to talk about this book a bunch, actually, the, this is the logical question that people get asked when you write a historical novel. People are like, how did you research this book? And I used to get really nervous and insecure because in my mind, historical, and my, my, my colleagues will correct me if I'm wrong, but historical fiction writers kind of are a little bit method. Like, I spoke to the writer Tracy Chevalier, who famously wrote Girl with a Pearl Earring, and for one of her later books, she wrote about like a seamstress, and in order to inhabit the mind of said seamstress, she hiked 25 miles across a random bridge in Europe while knitting. And I was like, okay. And of course, Min Jin Lee famously researched for something like 10 years and piles and piles of research before, you know, embarking on the project that is the incredible Pachinko. And I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do any of that, right? I had some grammar stories. Um, I had an imagination. And I did, I did try to do research. I did try to look. And so I just made a book for Amber. As soon as I saw her, I recognized her. Um, so hopefully she took a picture. So hopefully tag me so I can put a copy on the side. Um, yeah, so I'm on the hunt for the Caribbean stand because they have one every year. I'm on the hunt, so we'll see. <laughs> you gave me already. February 4th, 1999, in the sound section of the bar. find the Caribbean stand but some tell me to go in the City Hall Center Park where they were panel earlier for some Caribbean author and I saw the girls from uh, uh, the ladies from Caribbean uh, Brooklyn Caribbean Literary Festival so they let me know that they did not have a stand this year so all that walking I was doing but you know I burned some calories so basically I am done for the day um, I looked on here and uh, there's literally nothing else that I want to um, see for the rest of the day. It does end at 6, but um, the last panel starts at 5. 
and I was looking at the list. Yeah. Um, there's no one on the list I want to see. So this is it for me, guys. And I can say overall, the rain was discouraging. However, I'm going to be honest, I'm still happy because I got to see Edward that again. I'm sorry that was the highlight of my day. So I can't complain. I wish it was a sunny, beautiful day. Um, I'm sure I missed a few people, but I didn't even get to post on Instagram that I was even here. That's how much like everything was boom, boom, boom. Plus it was raining, so I didn't want to pick my phone up a couple of times. Plus when I was at the library, there was no signal in the bottom. Like a couple of times I looked at my phone, I had no, no signal. So yeah, but overall, I'm gonna edit this. It is gonna probably be a short video, but uh, 2024, it rained, but it wasn't a complete disappointment. So, see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. And let me know if you were here, what you thought. Alright, next. Bye.